Hello, welcome to Demaclisa channel. Today I'm going to introduce our welding machines. Uh, first, we need to know how many categories there are laser welding machines. First, the most common is the handheld laser welding. Uh, we also have two machines there. But today I want to introduce not handheld laser welding, uh, desktop laser welding and uh, robot laser welding with customized solutions. Um, how to make the categories of laser welding? We can divide them by laser source. We have fiber laser welding, CO2 laser welding, or YAG laser welding. Or you can divide by power range. We have low power laser welding, like power less than two kilowatt, or power more than two kilowatt for high thickness, uh, heavy industry welding. And we also have a marking on fly solution here which is uh, for the, if you have in a production line, you have um, flow rate of in high speed products. Well, they are not fit in in a very accurate position. So you need to visual their position and then to mark the code on that. And these two machines are mm, uh, electronic sports welding. They are, they are debugging now. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at that working station. We have many welding heads to introduce today. This is our test station. We have many fiber laser stores here, uh, QCW or CW or all kinds of laser stores for different um, solutions. We also have many clamping tools that maybe you have not flagged samples, uh, the round pipes or small parts that you need special clamping. And this is the handheld laser welding head, which is very normal and uh, you might have seen a lot. And this is many kinds of laser welding. Let's come closer. Mm. This is the most standard type, which is uh, focus, collimating and focus. And this is the coaxis uh, CCD, which is uh, watching the welding seam. And this one is the upgrade version with the wobbling of the focus lens. There is a motor uh, attached to the focus lens so that um, uh, the, 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 the focus point is, is wobbling, so you get wider welding same. But uh, we now have the upgrade version on that. Uh, this is also single motor wobbling. Now we mainly use two axis uh, scanner uh, motor. Double, we call it double axis wobbling, which is also now applied in hand, handless uh, welding head. This the 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 the, mm, the the focus point has higher f higher frequency of um, the motor rotating, so you get higher speed of the focus beam. Then you have better welding quality and higher speed. And this one is very special, and it's a testing welding head. There is a switch when you turn to the left or to the right. They can they can switch from the beam from top head to uh, to a circular beam for, for for different welding effects because for welding it's not like cutting it's in a contrast for cutting you need the best beam quality to go fast speed but for welding you need a very equal mm, very equal beam that you get stable welding quality so uh, the top head beam quality is very important you, in this, with this welding head, you don't need to buy a special laser source. You use a, a 
you use the standard laser source, then you can get the top head beam quality. And this one is that we want to focus today, is a uh, high power scanner welding head. Scanning, scanner welding has been very popular in recently because they have two uh, advantages. First is welding speed is very high, especially when you go like um, a lot of dots, sport welding and a very small circular like the heat exchanger. You have a lot of small circles in the middle. With scanner welding, you don't need to move on a XY table. So the scanning, the welding will be really fast. And the second point, with the scanning, scanner welding, if you have like a small part, you can clamp in in a way that you can fit in and you don't need to move anymore. So it's, it's easier for, for a solution provider like us that we can do all the design for you. You just put this machine in your production line and that's okay because you don't need to move them. You just fit in the parts. So save a lot of to customize your production line. So scanner welding and especially the price is going down. For high power scanners in the past is very expensive and now the pulse laser, MOPA laser and the QCW laser price is going down. Scanner head price is going down. So this technology is going to be very popular in the future. Um, it's a pity that we cannot show today, but uh, we, we, you can check from the video. And for this scanner welding, you can use uh, all kinds of lasers, CO2 or fiber or all kinds of laser source. So it it's really can be widely applied in many industries. For laser welding, uh, a big problem is that to make the sample, because it's not a standard machine like cutting machines or handheld laser welder, that, which is very common and, uh, for, for massive production. For welding, normally you need to uh, make special clamping or you, to choose the right laser source, to make the right parameters, so making a sample is very important. Uh, with us, that we have uh, this uh, lab with all kinds of laser source welding heads and uh, we have experienced engineers with many years of in laser welding so we can do all kinds of sample testing for you welcome to send us drawing or inquiries welcome to demac laser